today I have food from Buffalo Wild Wings. But um, clearly, it's not in but it's not in a Buffalo Wild Wings box because I feel like that will block you guys from seeing the food. So I just put it on a nice, cute little dishware. Can you guys see? I hope y'all see the yummy goodness. I have a fry that fell clearly, so I'm gonna throw that away. I got the All American Burger. I added sauteed onions, and I got the Chipotle barbecue wings. Torch! What? We want to smack your mama. Oh, these wings are so bomb! I swear, like Chipotle barbecue. Set, tell them I put you on and watch y'all keep getting it. It's gonna be bomb. But um, let me fix this light in a teeny bit. I think y'all can't see my food as well. I don't know. But um, anyways, first of all, don't y'all hate when y'all order food and they give you one wing? I mean, one thing of sauce. Does that make common sense? How the heck am I going to eat with one sauce? Like. Please tell me, am I doing too much or I really just can't eat with one sauce? I don't get how that makes sense in people's head. But so I'm about to use this capital C to mumble sauce for my fries because they gave me this little bit of barbecue sauce. So yeah. And I'm going to tell y'all a story about how I did um, Drea hair. I wasn't going to because I'm like, who cares anymore? It's been so long. It was, it was a little while ago. But people to this day still ask me like, how did I do, do Drea hair? Or how did it come about? This food is bomb, so I'm gonna try to talk and eat. My dog is being so annoying right now. Hank, you need to move. Mm -mm -mm. I love their burger. Like, I put barbecue sauce on top. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay, but let me tell y'all. So, this is hard. How do y'all eat and talk? It just tastes so good. So basically, Drea had put on Instagram on her story that she needed a stylist in DC. And um, my friend was like, you need to DM her, girl, you're bomb. And I'm like, mm, like, I'm not too fond of doing celebrities hair because like, I feel like celebrities are last minute and they just feel like you're supposed to get up and drop everything. I don't care if you're a celebrity or a regular person, whoever made the, the appointment first wins. That's how I take it. I don't care. My if a regular person made it or be okay if it's Beyonce maybe you know but you know I'm not about to change so anyways Drea I DM'd her my friend said I should DM her so I DM'd her and I and I sent her my work I didn't even say one word to Drea like I just sent her my work my the last hair post that I had and she was like she was like, yes, are you available at 5? And luckily, 5 was a great time because I actually finished working at 3. It was a Saturday. I don't I don't work too late on Saturdays. Yeah, I'm going to set the sloppy eat it. But, yeah, I was like, okay, 5 is cool because I'm done working at 3. So that's fine with me, you know? So, um, I didn't even bring down the drink. Whatever. So, he said, okay, come alone. You know, some people don't, some celebrities especially, they don't want endless people in their hotel room. Oh, y'all want to go see Drea? No. Everybody don't like all that. So, she said, can you come alone? I'm at, I'm at blah, blah, blah hotel in D.C. Can you move? I'm not going to say what hotel because I don't know if she always stays there or what. But she said, she said the hotel she was at. And I'm like, okay, back, cool. So that's one. What is one of my dog? So that's one. I met. I went to the hotel at five o'clock. I got all my stuff ready to go meet her to go do her hair. So I met her at the hotel at five o'clock. I got. I got. I was able to get in the shower and get ready. That's what I like because I was able to get ready. Actually, get ready to go to do your hair. I do not like rushing. Celebrities are so last minute. They will legit be like, come at five o'clock or whatever, and I'm supposed to. And it's. 4.30. I don't like that. That's why I do not really like doing celebrities here. But she told me at a good amount of time, which is fine. Okay, so I go to her hotel room. First of all, the hotel is so nice. So, so, so beautiful. I'm like, are we really in D.C. right now? Where are we at? So, I go to the hotel. And there's not even any parking. It's a really nice hotel, I'm telling y'all. So, it's really just like ballet parking. So, I'm like, okay, I'm about to spend like $20 just to freaking park. But, okay, whatever. So, I paid that just to park. And, um, 
I'm in the hotel room and I'm looking all over, all over for where to freaking how to go to her room number. She told me her room number. I think she's on like the first floor. I'm like, okay, I'm confused. Like, which, what, like, where? Like, how do I get there? I mean, I first, the third floor. But the thing about these hotels, like, nice, really nice hotel, you gotta go to the front desk. Then they have to escort you to the elevator, huh? Like, usually, you know, get up hotels, girl. We just, oh, they be like, oh, you on the third floor? Okay, just go on the third floor and that's it. But no, this is not like that. So, that's how, that's how we did it. And I finally was able to find, I finally was able to find her hotel room. Sorry, y'all, this is really hard to tell a story, ain't you? But anyway, I found her hotel room. Um, as soon as I go, she's like, hi, hi. You know, sorry, last minute. She was so nice, y'all. I didn't expect her to be mean, but she was so nice to me. Like, I'm like, dang, like, really nice, you know? Um, I'm doing her hair, whatever, all of that. Um, I, first of all, this was a funny part because I was trying to rush. I was so nervous because she was on the time crunch. I think she had just an hour to get ready, but I came a little late, so we only had like 40 minutes to really get ready. So, I'm kind of trying to rush, so this part was a little funny. I dry her hair. Her was dry, but it was, I, I'm not going to lie, it was a tiny, tiny bit damp, and I think I got a little nervous trying to rush and beat time. Like, she don't make me nervous. Like, celebrities don't make me nervous. Like, they regular people to me. But it made me nervous trying to beat at a certain time because she had to be hosting for a pool party that it was like, I didn't notice it was still a little damp, like, around the front. And she was like, she was like, uh, she was like, girl, babe, you got to dry this a little more first or something like that. Like, you know, she like, girl, the fuck, it is not, it's not dry. You know, you need to dry my hair properly so you can fly on it. So, anyway. I'm like, oh, oh my God, I'm sorry about that. So I finished, um, I finished drying her hair, and then I blow dried it. I, I blow dried it, and then I flat ironed it. She's wearing her real hair, flat iron, y'all. First of all, let me just say how beautiful she is. When I got there, she just got the shower, so her hair was like still wet. She looks so cute. Like her hair, is, she has really wavy hair. Like I've never seen nobody here actually wavy. Usually people say they got wavy hair, but it's like loose curls. Now hers literally go like. Her natural curls are literally a wave. It's not curls, it's a wave. So yeah, I thought out her hair. Her friend was in there. I think it was like her, one of her best friends, something like that. She was in there. And she was so cool. She was so sweet to me. Literally, she was there. And she was even talking to me. Like, I think she she wanted to wear some outfit. And Drea was like, uh, no. Like, basically that outfit is champ. And I told her, I told her I didn't like the outfit too or something. She was cool with it. She changed. Or whatever she didn't wear. They were really nice to me. And Dre the whole time kept saying, "Sorry, it's last minute. I apologize. Sorry, it's last minute." I'm like, "Girl, thank you. you're fine." Like, because some celebrities are really last minute. They think that I'm about to drop everything and come. Like, who do you think you are? Like, I have actual clients who's made an appointment. You're not my only person, you know. So I really did appreciate how respectful and nice she was. Her and her friend was very nice to me. She didn't make me feel like she was better, richer, or anything. She was really cool. Um, she even, at the end, I lost my phone like an idiot. So I'm over here looking for my phone. And clearly she had a rush out. And she, but she's still like, have you found it? Like, you know, trying to help me out, trying to look for it. She's like, I don't know. You know, we're trying to look for the, my phone because clearly I lost my phone. Um, I didn't get to get, get any pictures because, like I said, I was rushing. So I didn't want to just bother her with pictures. And I'm like, I know she's going to put pictures on her story anyways, you know. So, um. So, um, what happened? Oh, yeah. When it was time for her to pay me, she paid me triple. She paid me triple what I charged. Literally triple what I charged. And it's funny because she never asked me how much I charged. Clearly, you know, people like that. She she probably got it like that. She don't care. And she took out some hundreds, gave it to me. I'm like, dang. Like, okay. Like, you know, this wasn't so bad. It definitely definitely changed my perception on celebrities or just really popular people because I usually don't like to do their hair because I'm like a lot of people want free shit and free stuff for promo or they don't want to pay you but she paid me triple like she was and she was so nice respectful didn't say one rude thing to me nothing like I obviously people have bad things when they come to popular people because they treat you like shit because you're like they kind of some people look at you like you're beneath them, but she was very cool, y'all. So cool. Oh, 
don't know if this burger is all the way done, but I hope it is. Mm. But, um, I'm sorry, I was just so torched. But yeah, that's what happened. And she did not tag me. So some of my friends or like family or just people I knew was like, why didn't she tag you? Why can't she tag you? But honestly, yeah, I didn't care if she tagged me or if she didn't. She paid her money. I don't feel like, tell me how y'all feel below, but I don't feel like people need to tag you if they pay for service. You bought your food, you bought that outfit you wearing right now watching, watching me eat. Did you tag them? No, you don't tag. I don't think you need to tag everything. If it's free, if I did it here for free, oh baby girl, you need to tag me. But she paid full price just like anyone else. Y'all don't be asking y'all old clients, oh, make sure y'all tag me. Because first of all, they probably don't even have an Instagram. But y'all y'all don't be bothering them to tag you, tag you, because they pay their money. That's all that matters to me. I literally don't care if she tagged me or not. She, I know what I did, how, uh, how our interaction went. It was really cool. She was cool, so that's all I care about. Mm -mm -mm. And y'all, I'm thinking of doing the um, I guess a furnished house tour. I wasn't thinking of doing that. So, mm, cause I'm like, who really cares? But people really still under my comments like, can you, can you do a furnished house tour? I'm like, yeah, I still care. I don't know. That's why I wasn't even gonna make this video tell you how I did Dre here, cause I'm like, I don't think nobody cares anymore. It's old, like, not that old, but you know, who cares? Cause I just don't care. But people actually ask me when it, people want to know about my life. I love it. Mm mm mm. Y'all, telling y'all get the all American burger from Buffalo Wild Wings torch. First of all, I used to hate Buffalo Wild Wings. Mm -mm. But it's actually really good. Okay. I'm being so sloppy right now. This is how sloppy I really eat, y'all. It's sad. But I be trying to be cute in front of my, in front of people. But I'm really a sloppy eater for them. Especially if the food is bomb. Mm -mm -mm. Y'all sometimes, my own job, but sometimes I, I do get a little discouraged on my channel. But I'm like, you know what? I'm about to keep going because I actually like making videos. I really enjoy it. And subscribers will come, views will come. So if you like something, you keep going no matter what. Y'all. And I'm gonna remember this video next year when I'm more consistent with YouTube, bigger, better. I remember all of this. Look at my little annoying dog. Look at him. So nosy. Mm. My dog ate up my rug. So, another reason why it was hard for me to do a friend's house tour is because, first of all, my dog ate up my rug and he ate my Tom Ford book twice. So y'all don't get a dog. They are so irritating. I'm probably about to cut this video a little shorter. Well, this video is long, but I got stuff to do. Hmm. 
I can't believe I just ate all that. Where did my burger go? What the heck? So, that's it for this video. Bye, guys.